again, my name is Gabe Zolno. This is the 22nd of January 2019. Watched a rather fascinating 1 hour and 55 minute and 54 second video. It was originally published July 29th, 2013. And uh, the title, How to Prosecute George W. Bush for Murder for the Deaths of U.S. Soldiers in Iraq. Lawyer. 2008. The prosecution of George W. Bush for murder is a 2008 book by former prosecutor Vincent Boglosio about the book, and there's a link to Amazon. It argues that George W. Bush took the United States into the invasion of Iraq under false pretenses and should be tried for murder for the deaths of American soldiers in Iraq. The book sold over 130,000 copies within its first three months of release. Bugliosi argues that Bush intentionally misled Congress and the American people about the evidence that he said mandated going into Iraq and overthrowing Saddam Hussein. Therefore, Bugliosi argues, under the felony murder rule, the deaths of over 4,000 American soldiers and 100,000 Iraqi civilians as of spring of 2008, since hostilities began, amount at the very least to second-degree murder. He further states that any of the 50 state attorney generals, as well as any district attorney in the United States, has ample grounds to indict Bush for the murder of any soldier or soldiers who live in their state or country. Bogliosi says that if he were prosecuting the case, he would seek imposition of the death penalty, and that impeachment alone would be a joke considering the magnitude of Bush's alleged crimes. The strongest evidence against Bush, Bogliosi says, is a speech on October 7, 2002, claiming that Iraq posed an imminent threat to the security of the United States and was capable of attacking America at any time with its stockpile of weapons of mass destruction. A national intelligence estimate of less than a week earlier stated that while Iraq did have WMD capabilities, it had no plan to use its weapons except in the capacity of self-defense or if the United States threatened to attack Iraq. Moreover, according to Bogosi, the president and his administration edited the white paper or declassified versions of the NIA released to Congress and the public, censored in a way that made the Iraq threat seem more ominous than it actually was. In addition, Bugliosi asserts that the Manning Memo shows that far from making serious efforts to avoid war, Bush considered the possibility of provoking Saddam into starting a war by sending U-2 reconnaissance aircraft falsely painted in UN colors on flights over Iraq along with fighter escorts and if Saddam ordered them shot down, it would constitute war. He also argues that Bush pressured intelligence agencies to find proof that Saddam helped Al-Qaeda plan the September 11, 2001 attacks. You ever wonder why Bush did that? huh? Well, you know what? The sad reality is that shortly after this was published, in 2015, Vincent Bugliosi, they say, succumbed to cancer. Now, when you listen to what he has to say in this lengthy video, he felt 100% positive that any prosecutor couldn't do anything other than win the case. By the way, he's the same prosecutor that convicted Charles Manson, and he wrote the book, Helter Skelter. What's amazing is not a single prosecutor went ahead and went after George W. Bush. And this was just because of invading Iraq under false pretenses. Wait till the grand jury proves that the administration of George W. Bush was up to their eyeballs in the takedown of the Twin Towers. It had nothing to do with Al-Qaeda, which is why, again, he also argues that Bush pressured intelligence agencies to find proof that Saddam helped Al-Qaeda plan the September 11, 201 attacks. 
and the information that they found, they falsified with those phony hologram airplanes. Bush and the Bushes are responsible for more deaths than any other American in history. And what you'll hear Bugliosi say is that the 100,000 probably exceeds a million. And Bush has no problem sleeping at night. Why? He's a sociopath. That's why. You have to be a sociopath to do what he's done. And he's not the only sociopath. His vice president, Dick Cheney, Donald Rumsfeld, Condoleezza Rice, they're all sociopaths. You're not going to probably watch the video, which is a shame. It's very, very informative. You want to pass it along to your like-minded friends. You want to repost it in all your social media accounts. You might want to send a copy to President Trump. Ask him, what the hell is he waiting for? Round him up. Send him to Guantanamo. Try him for the murder of millions. Thanks for listening.